It takes a long time to get to Mars, six months on average, even with Elon Musk's Starship. The heaviest. Most advanced rocket ever. So how do we solve this? Well, NASA's answer to that question was quite shocking to say the least. They are using a new engine, with a new energy source, far more powerful than traditional chemical rockets and boasting unparalleled safety metrics. This engine promises to revolutionize space travel. So what is that engine? Stay tuned as we dive into this episode of SpaceX Flight. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss another awesome episode, and with that, let's dive right in. Now, how long do you think NASA's engine takes to get to Mars? Well, only 45 days, and it is a nuclear thermal rocket. This was announced by NASA Administrator Bill Nelson at an astronautics conference, where he really wanted to break from the norm of chemical rockets. NASA had concepts and ideas for a nuclear thermal rocket, or NTR dating back to the 60s, but could never get off the ground due to safety and budget constraints. However, now with new technologies and the accelerating growth of the space economy, the demand for faster propulsion is only going to grow. The rocket will be called DRACO, or Demonstration Rocket for Agile Cis Lunar Operations, and will collaborate with DARPA to produce the engines and reactors. So, how does it work? To answer that question, we have to know how a chemical rocket works. It mixes fuel and oxidizer in separate tanks, then burned in a combustion chamber and lastly, exhaust gases are released to generate thrust. A nuclear thermal rocket will use the heat generated from the splitting of uranium nuclei using neutrons in a nuclear fission reaction to expand hydrogen propellant in a reactor core, then releasing the exhaust gases at immensely high speeds to generate thrust. Hydrogen was chosen as a propellant because of its high efficiency, excellent suitability, and also being the most common element in the universe. It is estimated to be three to five times more powerful than traditional chemical engines. This means that rockets can move faster, between enormous interplanetary distances, saving astronauts far more time, cutting radiation and microgravity exposure and reducing quantities of food needed for a mission. Not only that, it will achieve a much higher thrust per kilogram of fuel and increase payload masses and volumes, unlike chemical rockets, which have a huge volume of its space dedicated just to fuel. In July, Lockheed Martin was asked to develop the Draco engine demo to demonstrate this technology. Lockheed Martin also works with other suppliers like BMX Technologies, which supplies nuclear fuel and nuclear equipment. All these organizations have high targets and high hopes, targeting a 2027 launch date for their test flight and 2030 for sending a crew to Mars. But what about SpaceX and Starship's Mars colonization plans? Both projects may create competition. However, Elon has proved himself to being open to new ideas, like for example in 2019 he tweeted, Nuclear thermal rocket for fast transit around solar system would be a great area of research for NASA. His Starship rocket is still in testing phase only completing two test flights in 2023 and still not reaching orbit. However, it shows signs of promise of being a viable rocket in the near future, as it is heavily involved in the Artemis moon landings program and also plans to land uncrewed starships to Mars as early as 2027. Even if Starship is not as fast as a nuclear rocket, Starship is constantly improving its Raptor engines and its overall design. It utilizes methane which is a much cheaper fuel and readily available on Mars. Not only that the Raptor engine is far more cheaper to manufacture, giving SpaceX the ability of being able to mass-produce starships constantly, enabling large launch needs in the future and accelerating Mars colonization, while NASA can only produce one ship at a time, as unlike SpaceX, NASA is not skilled in mass manufacturing. Finally, the Raptor engines is much safer than nuclear engines, although powerful. The consequences of something going wrong on a nuclear rocket can be catastrophic. And this has been proven time and time again throughout history. This is why nuclear energy is very strictly controlled. 
and the sheer costs and complexity to operate a nuclear rocket would make it virtually impossible for private rocket companies to use nuclear energy at this time. However, things may change with time and more advances in technology will turn things around as both Starship projects and nuclear thermal rocket projects will hopefully succeed and even collaborate when the time is ready. That is all for today's video. If you liked and learned something new, please give your thoughts in the comments and also, please like and subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss another awesome episode. And I will see you next time.